it just come along stage by stage. I mean, it was step by step. It was determination, what the girls had determination. I always try to put into the girls' mind, look, if the boys can do it, you can do it. I mean, and we came along at a time, I mean, when I was coming along, we had great football teams. Uh, uh, we had great basketball teams. We had the NAIA championship teams in 57, 58, 59. But we were the first sport in Tennessee State to win an uh, integrated championship. The key behind it was Dr. Davis. Dr. Davis was our president at that time, Walter S. Davis. He started to build the program. He built up football and he built up basketball. He wanted, as he would call it, A-class and deluxe fashion. That was his terms that he'd always use, A-class and deluxe fashion. That's the, what he wanted Tennessee State to be in academics and in athletics. He wanted us to be great. He could visualize, even back then, in the 40s and 50s, he could visualize us eventually integrating and playing integrated team. He knew it was going to take up time and everything. He knew football couldn't do it right away, so he pushed basketball. Basketball was the thing that opened up, but to his shocking, it was women's track that really blasted the thing. And really, you know, they weren't thinking about women's traffic. They had no idea it was going to move the way it did. I didn't have no idea it was going to move the way it did, but it did. He gave women's track their start because he's the one that uh, got us a station wagon so we could go to Tuskegee in 1950 and just to go to the one meet. At least he gave us that, you know, he started us out, but he had no idea, even to the time he retired. Uh, he was just shocked that women's track moved up above basketball and football over there because we had a chance to represent the USA. But we represent the United States and we ran against the world. The world, when you win an Olympic medal, you run against the world. Track really put this school on the map, yeah. with no doubt.